I would like to share my deeply frustrating experience with Adidas, a company that has proven to be the most difficult I have ever encountered. This ordeal began in June 2021 when I, an entrepreneur looking to diversify my ventures, decided to explore the profitable world of shoe resale. A friend informed me about the recent launch of Adidas Yeezy Shoes, which sparked my interest and motivated me to acquire as many pairs as possible. In a bid to capitalize on their potential resale value, I ultimately invested a staggering $20,000 in a total of 78 pairs, hoping to hold on to them until the market price increased. Adidas imposed a strict limit of 20 pairs per order, and due to the restrictions placed by my bank on daily spending, I ended up placing four separate orders over two consecutive days. After a somewhat lengthy waiting period, I finally received all the shoes at my residence. However, it didn't take long for me to reassess my situation. I recognized that I could redirect that substantial amount of money into other ventures that might yield quicker returns. Consequently, I swiftly contacted Adidas to request a return. They promptly provided me with return labels, leading me to believe that everything was proceeding as it should, until it took an unexpected turn for the worse. After sending the shoes back via FedEx, I found myself waiting for confirmation of the return. A few days later, I received a notification indicating that $5,000 had been refunded to my bank account, which seemed to suggest that the process was unfolding smoothly. I was optimistic, expecting the refunds for the remaining shoes to arrive shortly. However, a week later, I still hadn't received any updates regarding the other three orders, so I reached out to Adidas once again. An agent informed me that due to the large quantity and total value of my returns, they were undergoing a thorough inspection, which could take additional time. Accepting this explanation, I chose to remain patient. In the meantime, however, my bank flagged the significant transactions and abruptly closed my account without any prior warning forcing me to scramble to open a new banking account. Fortunately, since my purchases were made through PayPal, I was reassured that the funds would remain secure during the investigation process. After a month had passed without any sign of progress, I decided to follow up with Adidas once more. Their response remained unchanging. I would need to continue waiting. Frustrated by this lack of resolution, I turned to PayPal in hopes that they would expedite the process, as they were typically more responsive. Regrettably, they sided with Adidas, providing no clear reasoning for their decision much like the bank had done previously. After enduring months of back-and-forth communication with Adidas, I ultimately reached a breaking point and chose to stop my attempts, resigning myself to the situation. Just when I thought the matter was hopeless, I opened my front door to discover a disheveled array of boxes filled with the returned shoes, delivered to me without any notice or explanation. I immediately reached out to Adidas to inform them of this unexpected development, and they issued new tracking numbers, as the originals had already been rendered invalid. I initially requested 12 return labels, but after assessing the condition of the boxes I received, I realized I needed fewer as the ones I received could not be reused based on their condition. Once I procured the necessary boxes from Home Depot, I adjusted my request down to six labels, which Adidas graciously accepted. However, they insisted that I must contact them directly to initiate the return process, despite my inquiries into why they couldn't simply update the tracking numbers themselves. Determined to document this return thoroughly, I executed the transport of the shoes two boxes at a time, ensuring I obtained delivery slips for each shipment, a contrast to my earlier experience when I hadn't received any documentation. Once all the boxes were confirmed delivered and signed for by Adidas, I decided to reach out to them again, referencing the previous agent's instructions about contacting them once the delivery was complete. A month passed, and I found myself embroiled in yet another frustrating cycle of disputes with Adidas. They claimed that the original agent had made an error during the return process, necessitating a fresh start. This back and forth continued as they cited errors within their system, requiring them to restart the case once again. In my mounting frustration, I mentioned my intention to seek legal counsel, which seemed to prompt a noticeable shift in Editus' response. During this tumultuous period, I was also grappling with various personal challenges, leading me to temporarily set aside my concerns with the company. However, when I contacted them again, I was informed that one of the boxes had been located, presenting a glimmer of hope amidst the chaos. Unfortunately, when I inquired about the specific tracking number associated with the box, the agent appeared completely bewildered by the concept of tracking numbers. Eventually, after considerable effort, I managed to find a lawyer who specializes in handling disputes like mine, as many others only dealt with high-value claims. With legal representation in place, I held on to hope that Adidas would finally take the situation seriously and resolve the matter promptly. My first court date on July 23rd was rescheduled by Adidas, which was not surprising based on my lawyer's insights. We then set a new court date for September 17th, only for it to be postponed again. It is truly astonishing that my situation has escalated to the point of pursuing legal action against Adidas simply to reclaim my money or the shoes they are currently holding in their warehouse. All documentation confirms that I returned the shoes correctly, with proper records of their size and weight, 
and Adidas acknowledged receipt of them at their facility. With one of the boxes successfully located, I am left pondering what legal justification they could possibly offer for not resolving this matter promptly.